I don't even think it's like it it's changed. It's more it's been solidified over the years. Uh, is that there are two things that you need to evaluate before you even worry about keyword research that nobody's talking about in the industry. And unfortunately, every single other launch strategy that I've seen has gone straight to here's the five campaigns you need to launch and here's the three or four keywords that you need to go after and here's the campaign setup. These two things are what are your goals and what are your available resources? Are huge because those two things will actually shape your strategy. Um, let me give some examples because I think that's helpful. So say you have a product that you're like, mm, I don't really have a heavy investment in terms of, you know, how much my inventory. This is really just a test thing. Um, I would like to just see if this particular product is viable at all, right? And for me to say this product is viable, I would like to get up to five orders a day. For me, that's proof of concept, right? Given them all the research I've done. I have about a $100 a day budget I can put towards through this. My goals, five orders a day. My available resources, $100. Great. That will actually shape my strategy. So if I'm like, I feel like I have, I'm going to give myself a couple months to work up to that, right? I can maybe have a longer term strategy where I can, I don't need to be as aggressive right out of the gate. Somebody else who said, I'm banking on this product working. I have a massive amount of orders. If I don't get this moving ASAP, um, I, I'm going to deal with inventory issues. I, I'm just, you know, I'm a balls to the wall, go big or go home kind of person. I'm not going to be happy with that little $100 a day, five orders a day launch. It's not going to make me happy. My goals are very, very aggressive. And you know what? I actually have um, a large account. I have a whole bunch more profits coming in for the other products. So in a lot of ways, budget to me is almost no object, right? If you ran a strategy like the second guy for the first guy, you'd be like, uh, you just spent my entire budget in a day. Like, what are you doing? This is, I can't, I can't afford this. This is ridiculous. Versus if I ran the uh, second account strategy for, uh, or you know, the first account, I said, oh, right, let's get up to five orders a day. Guys, like, I have thousands of units. Five orders a day is not, this is not going to cut it for me. That's not. So how many keywords do you pick? Uh, actually, and which keywords you pick should be shaped by the answers to those two questions. If you, this is your first product and you're like, hey, I've budgeted my ad dollars. Because what I find is that um, most launch strategies will say, okay, you need, this is how you do keyword research and you pick the top five keywords and you go super aggressive, exact match, you know, ranking strategy all the way to never let your budgets run out, always go high and work your way down, right? The person who maybe has a little bit less resources, and there's nothing wrong with having starting with less resources. The thing you do need to understand is uh, setting expectations of what you can get. I think of it, um, it seems super simple, but sometimes when you boil it down to basics, and what something actually means is helpful. The bigger the budget, the more clicks you can afford. Bottom line. So think of it in reality. If the orders come from people finding your product, i.e. clicks, if you can afford less of those clicks, just naturally you can afford less orders out of the gate. It's just it's the realistic expectations, right? So it's just, it's, it's shaping your strategy through, I understand these expectations, and then how many clicks you can afford versus your budget is going to be determined by how competitive your market is. If I have a market where I only have to pay 50 cents on average for a click, I can afford a lot more clicks than if I'm going into a market that has a $5 uh, cost per click, right? So it's, but it's understanding what are my available resources, shaping those by how competitive my market is, shaping it by which keywords are available, and all those things together wrapped will um, help you determine what that launch looks like. And when I say what that launch looks like, it's more from the determination of which keywords am I going to go after from the get.